Because <clears throat> I'm hungry, let's do it. Oh, oh. There, there was something we didn't do. We didn't do, um... Dish because I'm going to do it. That's what I did. Yeah. Maybe you should just have a break now and then do dice quiz as well. No. Nope. And hashing at the same time after. Let's do hashing quickly because it's not that hard anyways. Okay. No, it's not. As long as you understand the concepts, it's fine. Yeah. I'm going to teach you guys how to do modding by hand. Yay. Let's start with that, shall we? Let's see how to find the mods of, I mean, 50 mod free. Yes, I know. Uh, okay, so, how do you find that answer? That's the question. There are many ways, but if you've tried to calculate, you probably realize we don't have a mod button, which is pretty stupid, in my opinion. So, let's... Oh, the stream is lagging again. I hope the voices are not Yeah, lagging. the stream is very laggy. Okay, let's let's work this out. It's pretty easy, actually. So, you'll do 50 divided by 3 first, and you'll get, I think, 16.6666. Yeah. So, you'll get 16... Point six recurring. So that dot over there means it will keep on going forever. And then you remove the, the whole part of the, the thing. So if because we have sixteen point six, you take away sixteen, so we get the decimal. So we get the decimal part. And now all you have to do is do this times the the value that you're modding with. So it'll be three. And the answer will be two. So you do 16 minus the answer, and then you times it by 3, and you get 2. And that is the answer to the question. So 50 mod 3 is equal to 2. And that's how you do mod by hand. <coughs> yeah, that was a quick how to do mod stuff. Because we're going to need mods for the next question. Okay, so let's get the question done. Did you send me those questions, Nathan? Well, actually, I don't know. I think oh, don't worry, I've got it. Question six, question six. Did I? Yeah, I've got it. Okay. I'm glad I did. Well, so, okay. there is a reason why I'm doing this question, because a lot of people don't understand it at all. So, first things we gotta do, I'm gonna use a bread pen for this. So we're given two functions, and for some reason I'm in the grayscale. So, um, so we're given... What the hell? Yes. Right. It changed the color mode. Why? Why do you... Oh, you're, you're sounding a bit laggy. Hmm? Robot-y. You're sounding robot -y. Me? Yeah, yeah, it's fine now. Yours is, not mine. Mm. Mine, just, mine just be my internet. Yeah. Okay, so we got... We're given two... F two functions. So h1 x is equal to the sum of the first and last letters of x. So it's essentially x more than. Okay, so it's essentially x mod n. And we are given n in the question there. n equals to 10. So that's something we've got to take in mind as well. So h2, it's h2x is value of the last letter of x, so the last letter 
this is first and last sum so you add them together and you do so this function is x mod n minus 1 and then this everything plus 1 this is how to get x h to x so let's try it out let's try with lay is, is how you say their name lay Oh, lay. Yeah. Okay. So the first things we're going to find out is what L is in alphabet. So starting with A equals to 1, we just count down, or we just count up. So uh, you essentially do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So that will be 12. L is in 12. It's good you know your alphabet. Yeah. L is 12. I is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, 9. <clears throat> so, am I correct? Because <laughs> it would be healthy if someone was also doing it. <clears throat> okay, what, what so do do? Just, just check if I'm correct. Like, if L is 12 and 9 is I is 9. So that will be 21, x is 21, so for h1, h1, x will be 21 mod 10, and as we did before, so 21 over 10 is 2.1, now you do 0 0.1 times 10, you remove the whole number and then you just use the decimal and times the decimal by the number that is modding to get the value and you get 1 so that will be 1 and that's the value we get so we are correct for now <coughs> there's no point in well we can try h2 as well so h2 is the value of the last letter of x so this is to find h1x and this is to find h2x so for lay, for lay again we're gonna use the last letter so i i is 9 so you do x x will be 9 and this will be 9 mod 9 because it's n minus 1 that was disgusting. What the hell did that? Yeah. <laughs> 9 mod 9 plus 1. So, because 9 goes into the mod of 9 0 times, it will just be 1, and that is the answer. So, yeah, so far we're, we're doing it right. Okay, now, we're given the, this list again, and make sure you forget about this, because this is just an example. Okay? This is just an example. It's not actually used in the question. It's just to do what I just did, just like test out the values. Okay, so on this one, we're going to have to create a table and then use linear probing when collision occurs. So I hope everyone knows what linear probing is. If you don't, linear probing is um, a type of collision that if this, the value has the same index, it will go to the index that comes after so like the, the next available slot in the table so let's do this, you'll do a table let's do it in Excel because the tables in Excel look pretty okay let's do a table in Excel you'll have a table with um, the indexes, so index and so you start at zero and you go one, two, two, not one, three, four, five, uh, five. You go up to nine because n is ten. So it, you need ten indexes. You start indexes at zero. And then you just fill out the words, basically. So let's see the first word. Oh, it's Barbara. Um, 
So where does Barbara go into the list? So B is two. You do. Waiting for H. Uh, waiting for H X one first. H X. H. H one X not H X one. H one X. First, and I will do the same thing. Uh, for H two X. So we, yeah, we've got to do two tables for this question. So B will be 2, obviously, and A will be 1. There'll be 3 mod 10. Okay. And we've got to find that. So you just do 3 over 10. You get 0. It, no, you don't get 0. What do you get? You get 0 0.3. Well, you get 0 0.3 recurring. Uh, wait, am I doing this fuck? Correct, I'm not, I'm confused now. 3 divided by 10, yeah, and then you do that times the mod, and you get 3. So you get 3. You essentially get 3, okay? <coughs> 3. Yeah, just 3. Uh, and that means Barbara will go to index 3. So this is where you put her, so Barbara goes into index 3. And that's how it works. Now, um, let's try the next na name, so Pam. Okay, I have no idea what P and M are. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. A 16. 16. Uh, how many letters? <laughs> M, N, O, P, 13. Um... So together 29 more 10, 29 over 10 is 2.9, uh, 9, two, it's 9, okay so this is 9, <coughs> yeah it's it's easy to find actually because it's 29 more 10, 20 goes into 10 twice and then get, it gets 9 left out so it's 9, is it 9 though, yeah, okay so Pam goes into 9, index 9. So you'll be filling out the the table like that. Um, I'm trying to find one that actually quite. Ben says it's fourteen, not thirteen. What? What M? <laughs> no, it's thirteen. No, it's thirteen. <laughs> yeah, you said crap. It's thirteen. Uh, right. Um. Yeah. Matt Howard just cut out. <laughs> Uh. Who's Matt? Which Matt? Southampton. Matt? Um, oh, okay. Well. I still call him Southampton. <laughs> um, Gonzalez. I'm just gonna do this one now. I'm trying to find one that collides so I can show what happens. A B C D um, E F G seven. What's S? S is. S T U V W X Y Z twenty six minus ninety. Is it? Should be P Q R S. Yeah, it's nineteen. Okay, seven plus nineteen is twenty six. Twenty six mod ten, so it's a six. <sighs> this is gonna be interesting because I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna find any. Uh, Gonzalez. Okay, I'm just gonna fill out the, the table now. I think everyone gets the point, right? Is anyone? Does anyone have a question how to do this? Huh? No. I... Do you know how to do it? Like, you just find the index, yeah. given the, fun the functions. That's it. But we're given the index. No, this these are wrong. This this is the first try. Look, the, they both have sixes there. Oh, any collides. Okay, let's do any. <clears throat> oh, but you're showing us how it does, how you do, okay, how you find the index, even though it's, if it's not given to us. That is not that is not the values you use. That's just an example. Oh wait, no. What's what? Yeah, what are you on about? They're given to us. 